My name is Leighton J. Cougar. I'm the director of Wild Spirit Wolf Sanctuary. Along with my family, volunteers, and staff, I care for over 60 canines, most of them wolves. I'm known to my wolf family as Wolf Dead. Every day in my life is a new adventure. There's always something happening to keep me busy. Every day we receive phone calls and emails to rescue wolves and wolf dogs everywhere in our country. This day is like so many others. We be a pure wolf, um, which uh, apparently bred with a dog and gave birth to eight puppies recently. And it was obvious as I told the woman that she's not a pure wolf as it's not the proper time to be giving birth. It's not, it's actually just breeding season at this point, so a pure wolf wouldn't be giving birth at this point. But yeah. she has sent photos here. Of the puppies too, or what? Of the puppies as well. Let me see puppies. Okay, these are puppies. Oh, how old are they? Young. I think she just pulled them from mom. But, I mean, I can't really tell anything from the photos at this point. Oh, so they're, where are they again? They are in uh, Grand Prairie. Grand Prairie, Texas. <laughs> the issue, of course, being um, these puppies, if, if indeed the woman's right, she bred with a, a Labrador or something similar, they're probably all very adoptable. Mama here is not social, and animal control is aware that she's running free on property, and I, it sounds like a fairly immediate need that they're going to pick her up as soon as they can get their hands on her. Um, huh. Of course, we all know what happens to wolf dogs in Texas that go to animal control. Well, but maybe they could do the dirty work for us. Maybe they could. But remember, now that I'm reading her email, is that she will go into this woman's house. Well, if she goes in the house, her. if she goes in the house, then exactly. we got we got. All we need is walk in with a net or a water pole, and she's done. Yeah. So. so, all right, then just email me all this stuff. I'll look it over again today. We'll correspond with her, because um, I guess technically we have the space. These brief pictures, it's hard to tell, but she does look fairly, I don't know, I guess mid-content. Yeah, mid, you know, we'll have to see by behavior, but, you know, these mid-content and they, they, so, it, and this animal go into that lady's house that we're, that, that's where we're yes. with, who took these pictures? Yes. She so this is like her porch? And she took the puppies in. Oh, she did? Oh, okay. She's saying her puppies. Mom is not happy about somebody touching her puppies. Ah. She's very growly, and that's probably why she's sticking around the property, but she's also, I guess, according to the woman previously, the children in the area... This, this wolf dog left to come oh. up to the children. There's no problems. But now, if they come into the perimeter of the area, the She's female defensive. considers this her territory. She is trying to bite people now. Okay. So that's going to be an even... My thought is that's a higher concern. If she's on defense mode over those puppies, and animal She's control is already aware, if there's anybody that calls about a Allison has been working there. for us for nearly four years now. and has past due for her, her first nice rescue. We'll, uh, we'll spend our birthdays together while rescuing a wolf dog in need. So it's January 31st, it's now 7 o'clock. Alice and I uh, pulled out about 5.30 in the morning, heading to Texas to do this wolf dog rescue, a female wolf dog, uh, age unknown, yeah, who has had some puppies. They believe she bred with a Labrador. And uh, the people are afraid that uh, animal control or someone's gonna shoot this wolf dog. So we're gonna go get her, bring her and her puppies home, and uh, hopefully adopt out everybody one by one. So we've been traveling for about five hours. We are in a deep fog bank uh, just outside of Santa Rosa, New Mexico. Weather conditions have been pretty okay, but it's a little foggy and potentially dangerous. I cannot see. I know there's a semi truck ahead of me, but I can't see him. All the trees and bushes along the highway became crystallized. Gosh, that is As we so drove, cool. road conditions got really bad. We pulled into a rest stop just to marvel at the beauty of the crystals on tree limbs and branches. They that almost looks like coral. Yeah, I was gonna say it does almost look like it needs to be under the water. Yeah. 
As we got into Oklahoma, we encountered an ice storm. The roads just continued to get worse. I stopped to get new windshield wipers and some de-icer, as well as admire the icy beauty on the trees surrounding the parking lot of Walmart. We got to the Dallas area around 9 p.m. I stayed in a way too nice hotel, compliments of Allison's mom, while she spent some quality time with her birthday girl. Next morning, we headed out to check out our restaurant. All right, well, it's the 1st of February. It's Allison's birthday. We are uh, heading over to the uh, trailer park where this lady lives and see if we can somehow wrangle up this wolf dog. We spent the light, night last night in Louisville, and uh, it's now about 9 a.m. And we're uh, cruising over to her house, and we'll assess the situation see if there's a possibility we can capture this girl today or if we have to wait a little longer, it's hard to say. So now we're just basically um, in rush hour traffic. <laughs> then what do we do? Um, yeah, just continuing that we are going to have to turn right on this South East 14th Street. Wow, this is like the longest bridge I've ever been on. <laughs> Gotta be. Never seen anything like it. I like the little lamp. Maybe five cents somewhere. Sure do. Yes, we do. We do. Thank you. Done deal. One step ahead, who's keeping track? We sold you so. Hey there. What do I do? Just give it to you? Hi, it's like a one. Okay. Thank you. See, they act like you know what you're doing. I have never done it before. I live in the land of no tolls. I live in the land of dirt roads. Let's charge people for coming down our road. Let's put a bridge up it. With enough it's money, we can pave it if uh, we put a toll up. All right, where are we supposed to go down for? We're here, but where do we park? We found our rescue location in a trailer park by a wooded lake shore. On grass. Bad people if we run on the grass. Little doggies. Seventeen. Green van, blue truck. Yeah, it's gonna be it. Let's just try this. Okay, we might be here. Let's find out. Hi! <laughs> you must be Aubrey. I am. I'm Leighton. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Allison. That must be our girl right there. There it is. Being dominated by the monster. <laughs> well, everything was fine until he got out this morning. Now he, I can't get her away from him. She just wants to play. <laughs> Girl. She's gorgeous. Are you sure that's not the father right there? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure. I got pictures of the daddy this morning. He just uh, wanted to play. Is that little dog yours? Hell no. You leashed that little dog. Oh, I've been trying since he showed up. This is... Uh, oh. <laughs> You're killing him. <laughs> You're killing him. So this girl just hangs out in here. Yeah, she hangs out in my poor the puppy in the house. Oh my god. He's just going to town. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? She chewed up my boots. Oh no. Took my pillows outside. And she is beautiful. Isn't she beautiful. She's a very beautiful girl. Definitely has wolf in her, for sure. I think so. I don't know if she's high content or not. Um, my thought is mid. Her tail curls, um, which is usually a sign of dog. Uh -huh. um, I can't see from this distance her ears. Um, which What's is, with the ears? if they're really pointed, it's mm -hmm. usually a dog characteristic. Wolves have more rounded ears. They look kind of rounded to me right now, which might be a wolf. Wolves kid. have more rounded. Uh huh. Gypsy girl, come on, we call her Gypsy. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> like, what the heck is going on here? 
After observing oh, her curious. for a short while, yeah, she's I decided very to test her and see if I could at least touch her. So I walked past her and just ignored her, thinking that she would follow me. Oh, that dog. She's going to check him out. <laughs> he might yeah. like a wolf. <laughs> My intuition was correct. She did follow me. She's very curious, which might work to our advantage. After a while, I came back to the house, and so did she. I then got one of the puppies to see if I could coax her close. My thought was, if I can touch her, then I can catch her. Doesn't mean it was going to be easy, but I didn't drive 800 miles through an ice storm to go home without her. Plan A was for Audrey to give Gypsy 100 milligrams of ace promazine. That should make her incredibly drowsy. Good girl, good girl, eat it all up. Part two of plan A was potentially to coax her into the house. I brought one of the largest crates we had. I wanted her long journey back to the sanctuary to be as comfortable as possible. Seeing that she was rather small, with this kennel she should easily be able to stand up and turn around in it. We set up the kennel in Aubrey's living room. Aubrey said that the wolf dog, Gypsy, would often come in through the dog door to get her puppies. Our hope is that she would make it easy on us and just come into the house and fall asleep. We played with the puppies for a while in hopes that Gypsy might get curious and come on in. You're sucking on my thumb. Yes, you are. You're sucking on my thumb. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> you are so cute. Channel 8 News caught wind of our rescue and showed up to see if they could get a story. Her name's Gypsy, by the way. Well, if, if we were called, her future potentially would be death. Uh, too late early in the morning. Uh, just like the mailman who just about ran her over moments ago. Uh, she's running free in the streets. Someone's going to hurt her. Someone's going to shoot her. Someone's going to uh, animal control probably eventually capture her and get prizes. While I was being interviewed, Gypsy slipped under the house to get some peace and quiet. Well, the little wolf dog went under the house and Allison and I almost were able to net her as she came out. We missed her by a half an inch. She's now very upset with us. She's run down the road and uh, has spent some time yelling at us and barking at us. And this right here appears to be the, the male that knocked her up. and. Uh, He's uh, sitting outside another house where another female who obviously is in heat is, yeah, so he ain't going far either. <laughs> Did you get our, our uh, <laughs> almost capture? I had, um, almost missed it because he brought me my tripod and I was looking at it. Oh. <laughs> um, no, it's, it was supposed to be for the 5 o'clock, but I think it was taking some time. They, they might do it at the 6 or the 3 in the morning. So. Yeah, we are so close. Yeah, it was. Um, but I think at least they got on video the almost capture. <laughs> she was on there. So, yeah, we thought she was getting sleep, but we thought she was going to sleep underneath the trailer, but she wasn't. She, uh, she decided to make a run for it and she beat us to it. Yeah, so. Um, but just to let you know, we're still here. Um, so we're gonna wait a bit and I don't know, maybe we even have to come back tonight once she forgets about us or something. We almost had her. Yeah, we almost we had her. We decided to give her a break and earn back her trust. My brother Darren 
who was a stand-up comedian in the Dallas area, <laughs> lived only 30 minutes from the trailer park. All right. So I Alice and I drove over to see him, this is private, or rather, we drove over to see he and his girlfriend Christie's new puppy. What's so funny? It's a kid show. Come on. Oh, it's <laughs> so teeny weeny. Look at the size of that belly. Yeah. It's What's your name? Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Alison's birthday today. This is your present, Alison. You thought we were just coming up. <laughs> to... <laughs> we then headed back to the trailer park, only to find a mess. Yeah, see? <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. Too much stimulation. Hey, y'all, just keep an eye on her. Don't, don't run out. Yeah, yeah. No, object, object for a wolf or a wolf dog. Um, all person. these officers that are out here have dealt with this many times. So I'm sure you have. Everybody knows what to do. It's just that. This dog ain't no different than any other dog would chase. Damn black dog, come by. I wish people learned to spay and neuter, damn it. Boys, too many canines and balls. So, some bonehead called animal control and now they have screwed up our entire process. They've chased her for blocks and blocks. But now the ace is wearing off and she's totally terrified. See, there's vehicle after vehicle and major attitudes because animal control knows better than anybody. So uh, these officers just couldn't wait two minutes to have a couple extra bodies to help catch her, but instead they chased her around a couple trailers in the trailer park. And uh, God knows where she is now. So Aubrey is going to try to locate her and hook her back, but with all these people, it's just a it's just a disaster. So we may, and the, of course the police officer is talking about putting a bullet in her. I can't. The block, she's just over in that field lying down. When down, animal control exactly and the police left, to do. Gypsy came back. Take it easy, girl. I'm sorry those, all those people came over. Now, physically exhausted and tired from the ace, she lay sleeping. I thought I'd try to see if I could successfully approach her. No way. There was no way that she was going to fully let her guard down now, not after that big ordeal. So we packed up for the day and headed back to my brother's house for some more Juan Carlos love and to watch the news. Oh, you smell so good. Female wolf with eight puppies. Actually, this wolf is a half-breed, perhaps maybe a lost pet gone wild. Gary Reeves reports on this remarkable oh, discovery. She's part wolf, part dog, and more than a little bit wild. She just wandered out, starving to death, and uh, started feeding her. And she just started to trust me a little bit. Audrey Barkley named the wolf dog Gypsy and spent six months trying to gain her trust. She let me touch her one time. That's it. She'll wander into the yard and sometimes into the house. Then she had puppies. Audrey took them in too and realized that nine wolf dogs was more than she could handle. I am worried because animal control probably would catch her and put her down because she's just too wild. So on the internet, she found Wild Spirit Wolf Sanctuary. Where we rescue, rehabilitate, and offer a lifetime sanctuary to wolves and wolf dogs. Executive Director Leighton Coop out from New Mexico to try to capture Gypsy. She's very aloof, she is very suspicious, and she knows all these woods better than probably anyone. So they mixed a sedative in with some hamburger and waited for her to fall asleep. Instead, she went under the house.
She's right here. I can see her. She's standing, she's standing right here. Oh. Now they'll have to wait until she calms down again. Cougar thinks one day she might be adoptable. If over a period of time we can socialize her well enough to be actually be a family pet or a, an individual's companion, then we'll do that. If, if we find out she's just too feral, too wild-like, she'll live her whole life in our sanctuary. Oh, I'm sorry. I know you want your babies. That is, after they capture her. At last check, they were still waiting. Gary Reeves, Channel 8 News. We spent the night and got up early to go to the trailer park. Gypsy was nowhere to be found. Plan B was to see if we could blow dart her. Since, Ar since Aubrey could get closest to her, I gave her some impromptu blowgun lessons. She proved to be an excellent student. Man. You're a pro at that. <laughs> Shit, girl, you go. That's, that's easier than I thought. That's hard enough. Try pulling this out. That's hard enough to go into her. Wait, you put a half an inch in the Yeah, see that? Harder. You gotta realize that the flesh is flexible, yeah. and it's as hard as like a, a, a milk carton cardboard. So uh, with that flexibility the fur, it has to make it through all that flip fur. Allison and Aubrey began searching the trailer park and surrounding neighborhood as I searched the nearby woods. I had a couple other news crews called uh, Get involved in the story of this poor little wolf girl. But we've asked them not to come around just to reduce the amount of bodies and hopefully lower her fear factor. But she stole two puppies out of Aubrey's house last night. She's got them stashed somewhere, so we find the puppies, we find Mama. I'm just hoping that puppies will make a sound, but in that trailer park, there's all kinds of skirting, uh, pulled away from trailers where critters have gone in and out, and we can see tracks here and there. So she probably knows the neighborhood and every little hiding place that exists in this little area. That this little, it seems that this little bit of woods has everything from pregnancy tests on the ground to uh, golf balls, plastic cups and clothing, soda cans and bottles to tires. Every city has these kinds of little wastelands where people foolishly dump their garbage. There's more junk and debris than a person would ever think. I've always thought it to be true that an industrious person living in a city could salvage all the materials needed to build a house in a matter of probably less than a year. And here's a perfect example. Perfect example also of the throwaway mentality of humans. Just like they treat their animals, they treat everything else. When you're done with it, throw it away. It doesn't matter. I get so sick of it. That's why dogs and cats everywhere are suffering because the, the idea that everything is disposable, even our pets. Here comes Allison. What's that? The yard work. The, uh huh. That might be why she's staying away. Because of the, all the action over yeah. there. So, didn't hear any puppies or anything. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, maybe we should just wait till this evening and see if she comes back around. Without oh, any gosh, luck, we, we decided to call it a day. We, find, we catch her. We got to stay in a close hotel that night and start looking for Gypsy before dawn. So now we're here on the third morning. Just before sunrise, see if we can catch this girl. This is our last chance. 
all the puppies are out getting ready to feed. They're rambunctious after spending the night in their kennel. So the next morning, Aubrey looked around and began calling for Gypsy. She spotted her a few doors down. A few minutes later, she darted her and we came to get her. You ladies go back and get let that me go kennel. Get the kennel. You got her? Yep. Alright. Well, oh, don't let her bite. Got it? Yep. We finally got her. Oh my gosh. Aubrey was able to blow dart her. We just stayed away. She was able to blow gun her. There we go. Did he cut? Did she bite you? Nope. Just got caca all over me. There she is. She's going on the long trip home very shortly. How and here's the little guy. Right <laughs> I got it. They're smoking. <laughs> Where was she? In that corner. Oh, really? Yeah. Just outside? Well, he heard me and he came out. Oh, okay. And Mama was trying to protect her. I thought, it's now or never. I wasn't sure I got her at first. <sighs> so, see, now, see how you feel? That's an Amazon with their blowgun. <laughs> Man, that's a Knocking cool monkeys out of the <laughs> Wow. So cool, it's so cool, you got, baby. You got your impromptu blowgun lesson and success. And <laughs> honorary wolf lady right there. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and we got all the puppies back. He's a little shivering booger. So one mom and eight puppies. It was so worth the wait. Good. So these are the tools that we use. We were able to uh, get some, some drugs from a vet and uh, showed uh, Annie. <laughs> Annie. Oh, you like Annie better? We showed Annie slash Aubrey. We showed Annie uh, how to use the, the dart you know, in the blowgun. She slid it in there and nailed that little girl lickety split. Birthday to me! Yay! Aww. Happy birthday! Happy <laughs> birthday! Oh, I'm so glad. That's all I wanted. So I told my wife last night, all I want for my birthday is to catch this thing. You got it! Uh. <laughs> okay. We loaded up the mama and all of her babies and started on our long journey home. I called Angel to let her know of our success yeah, my, my and to have her get the, get the gypsies and clothes ready. And I guess if it's snowing, that's going to delay me um, so that you know, I'm going to probably take longer to drive. But I'm already exhausted and, uh, and Alice is sick. So, you know, growing up sick. <laughs> I don't know, every time I take you girls out, you get sick on me. Captures for either one of you. So yeah, so that's the story. We got her and uh, we're, we're heading home. Allison and I are driving through a terrible snowstorm still in Oklahoma. We've been on the road for hours and hours and it's just gonna get slower and slower. We haven't even got close to the Mexico border. I'm not sure if we're going to have to pull over and get another hotel. 
I'm not sure what we're gonna do with these puppies if we do. So it's been a really hard trip, a hard capture. But uh, any luck, we'll be there sometime tomorrow. Hello. Hey. Um, listen, we're in a major, major snowstorm. I am going to find the nearest hotel and stop. So, oh yeah, we're, we're driving 40 miles an hour on I-40. And we're, we just crossed the Texas border in the Panhandle. So we've got to just get off this road. So, that's my story. We found a cheap motel and tried to wait out the storm. Allison cleaned the kennel while I fed the little poopers in the bathtub. And then we washed our little faces and our little butts. And then the power went out. Well, I think just to add to all of our frustrations of this whole adventure, the hotel we had to get because of the snow just lost power along with the entire little town that we're in. So now Allison and I are headlamping it so that we can see what the heck we're doing. So, yeah, every day is an adventure at Wild Spirit, and even when we're not at Wild Spirit. It's a good thing that the power went out after we pulled the puppies out. It would be lots of fun. It would be so hard cleaning puppies by headlamp. Yeah. We would have done it, but it would have been hard. Holy cow. All right. Well, good night. Holler at me or pound on my wall or something if you need some help. Sounds good. I still have some battery life left. I don't know about you. We left early the next morning. Okay. Well, we left our hotel this morning. We've been driving for an hour. We've gone about 30 miles, and now we're going nowhere. We're actually on I-40 West and we are in park going nowhere as fast as anyone could go nowhere. This uh, animal rescue has been uh, a little bit trying. It's 9.30 in the morning. I'm starving to death. I always have a huge breakfast every morning and I got nothing. I was hoping to get to Amarillo, which was only about an hour drive away on a good day. But um, this is not the good day. Puppies are quiet. Mama Wolfie Dog is quiet. And um, eastbound I-40 is actually moving. Lucky them. So, here we are. Okay, we have finally made it from our long, long trek. Go ahead and grab it. Hold on out, guys. My army of volunteers were standing by as we pulled in. We're gonna finally be able to take this mama out and let her stretch her legs. She's been nearly 48 hours in this crate. Volunteers have prepared an igloo and slated it up. We'll be able to let this mom out with her babies. It's almost dark. Like her. Um, just right there, fine. All right, go ahead and let puppies out. Uh, you have food for them? Uh, in the kitchen. Let's go get that. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! <laughs> All right, this is it. Five days of trying to get there and get home. And 48 hours in the kennel, Gypsy. Come on out, baby. There she is. Capture, but we're now finally. She gets to be in the sanctuary, stretch her legs. 
hope the next stage is a little weird being surrounded by wolves, isn't it? <laughs> there you go, Dora. Now you forgive us. Yeah, she's not hopping, so. <laughs> yeah, she's not yelling at us. We did it. It wasn't right, easy. Let's get, let's get this. But we did it. Thanks for being here, gang. Take